So Hunter, you mentioned uh, a meet re meet re room is different from a data center. Can you be more specific? Certainly. Um, at the high level, in the physical layer, layer one in the OSI model, you have network and you have structures like buildings and things like that that house the network. So under the umbrella of co-location, which is a sort of generic term that people have come to use a lot, there are basically three main components. There's others, but there's three main components. You have a physical building, such as a carrier hotel, and then within that building, there's a meet me room or a central point of physical interconnection within it. Those buildings historically have been sort of telecom related. And the telecom world has morphed into something completely different. And now we just generically call them network operators. They're not just telecom companies anymore. Enterprise companies are now buying dark fiber and lighting it themselves. So content companies, gaming companies, internet search companies, things of that nature. But the process of physically interconnecting the networks themselves occur within carrier hotels and within a meet me room that's a general room inside that building where everyone extends their network. Separate and apart from that, it's a data center. Data center space itself is really for housing servers. That process functions at the higher layers of the OSI model. It's not just about light within fiber, like as in layer one or two, with dense wave division multiplexing, for example, or any wave division multiplexing, and ethernet, which is a layer two protocol. If when you hit layer three, you start with internet protocol, and you go higher than that, you get to the servers. The servers are like your brain, and, the, and the, the, your skull is like the data center. And the carrier hotel's like your heart, and the fiber's like your veins. And it all works as a system, but data centers are sort of ancillary to carrier hotels and meet me rooms. Now, it gets a little confusing, because sometimes there can be server data center type space inside of a carrier hotel. But by and large, those meet me points, those neural interconnection points of the, the greatest mass of concentration of fiber networks on any point, on any city in the, in the world, in any country, those are carrier hotels, and they are not inside of data centers. Traditionally, data centers are built where there's cheap power and land and all sorts of things like that. And again, they're on the periphery, sort of satellites around uh, the carrier hotels. The third area of co-location, uh, which is alien but still under the umbrella, is cell tower co-location. And a lot of people talk about wireless co-location, antennas and microwave and things of that nature. That's all true. But you'd look at a tower and you wouldn't really think, hey, that's a data center. <laughs> but it's still under the umbrella of co-location. So those are your main, three main components. What's the business model for a meet me room or meet me um, uh, building? There's a few different business models. My particular business model is it's all about real estate. <laughs> we lease space, uh, we sell access on a monthly recurring basis. Uh, people pay for a presence here based upon a rack unit, which is a standard, international standard increment, 1.75 inches. There's a cable, typically a fiber cable, but any types of communication media that would go from that panel to a cabinet or a cage. They pay monthly for that, which is called the footprint, and then they pay for power over and above that. And then in my model, the individual connections between those two physical presence from the different network operators comes with no monthly recurring charge. That's the benefit of being here and why they pay us for everything else. That's the business model. It's real estate. Thanks for your time. Thank you.